Okay, next security camera is going to be Foxy. Let's find Foxy's little alcove. Uh, oh, that's not Foxy. Where's Foxy? There we go. So Foxy, all you see is his little area. So let's grab Foxy. Just move this one to there. Frame up with the F key. And let's go to local coordinates. Rotate this and bring it up and over. And somewhere like there. Then have this thing rotated on down. And probably pull it out a bit as well. Now Foxy's area looks a heck of a lot bigger in that photo than what I've got here. The purple extends greatly in all directions, so I'm going to push it closer to Foxy's area. And uh, global, local, rotate this down a little bit more. Bring this down ever so slightly. And we might need to change the field of view on this camera, make it a lot wider. Almost, yeah, let's go to, let's make this a 70, something like that. And push this out and over. Oh, maybe that's too much. Let's go to 65. And I swear, it's got to be up, though. So something, I'm not getting something here. Maybe the, maybe the size of his area is wrong, and that might be ultimately what i got to fix. Because I think his should be feel, it should feel a lot wider than this. Save. Also, I haven't been thinking, how many tables and chairs do I got to fit in this darn place? Because that's probably going to change, what is that, one, two, four, six sets of, of tables, as far as I can tell. It's a big-ass party. Okay. Next up is the, let's just grab one of these far-out ones, bring it on over here, and let's put a camera for the main area where we get to see our friends. So this one is situated inside, looking into these characters. And I'm assuming they're on the stage, right up here, playing their instruments. Wait, they are, are they playing instruments? They are. Where do the instruments go? They should bludgeon you to, bludgeon you to death with them. He's got a microphone, Chica's got, I have no idea. And of course the guitar. Move this over here, rotate. And this is a very tight shot, and I don't even think we see any kind of, I guess maybe the corner is over here. You can see some checkerboarding right back there, so which confuses me a little bit. Maybe that's just another area. Yeah, you can see the checkerboard texture back there, but it's not behind them. Well, we'll just put it there for now. Until we actually put the animatronics in here, I'm not going to know what to do with this. And next up is... So we need a shot of the entire room. That's camera 1B, and I'm guessing that's looking out at everything. The place is so friggin' dark at night, though, you can't see anything. So that should go just on the outside, looking outwards. So up here, raise it on up. And see, that's interesting, because I can clearly see the doors with this camera. I'm just going to rotate it down. And let's do local and pivot it. No, let's do global and pivot it this way. Maybe down a little bit more. Yeah, so I can clear, I, hell, I can even see all the way to where the security room is. So I think things are gonna have to be stretched out a bit to make this work, or I'm gonna be making the scene incredibly dark. What's up next? Uh, we have the lavatories, right? bathrooms, whatever you want to call them, and that's going to be probably somewhere up here. Raise it up a bit, because it does see both. Rotate it around, and that's good. Rotate it down a bit, probably. Let's just stick it somewhere up here for now. How much focus do we have on the bathroom? So you can see the hallway continue further out over there. Oh, is that the wall? I see mainly the front door. We'll pull this one back a little bit and rotate it perhaps down a bit like that. Save. Uh, and finally, we have the kitchen, right? The, the one where we can't see anything. Are there any more? Why do I have an extra camera? Let's move this one in here. Is there something I'm missing here? Camera six, camera f one, two, three. Oh, there's no. Oh, the back room. The back room we have to do as well. So let's just move that one up there. 
and come in here. This camera doesn't really matter, uh, although it will become an audio source, so I probably want to keep it regardless, and I can just fake it. This one, I mean, yeah, it's an audio source, it doesn't matter, so let's just rotate this to the side, stick it up in the air someplace, and this is just where what, Chica goes insane doing random stuff for no good reason. And we'll come over here now to this camera, focus in, just get, move it up, and what does this one, so this one's in the back corner, and if I remember right, this is the one where they get really up and close in the, in the camera and scare the hell out of you. It should be rotated down a bit. And let's get a shot of that room right here. So yeah, so we can clearly see the employee only section. We get a nice shot of half par a portion of the chair. Oh, excuse me. So we get a nice shot of the door opening. We get uh, this table as well. And I can't tell if we see the back door or the back wall. I don't think we see the back wall. We can't see the ceiling. That's probably important. And yeah, we'll just leave it there. Although it's probably a little small. Since we can't see that back wall, I might even want to rotate this just a little bit more this way. All right, we'll save that. Down a bit. All right, so that's uh, the scene. Let's just uh, hit run. And if we come over to our game now, our up and down arrows should now take us to the different locations. Oop, looks like I got a, a problem right there. I didn't close something off in Maya. Let's see, that is going to be, just making a mental note to myself that, yeah, this now needs to be fixed. All right, I'll get to that next time. But yeah, now we can move all around to the different locations. Great. So great news, we've got our cameras laid out, we have a rough layout of the actual building, we can iterate through those cameras pretty easily, and once I reattach those scripts to the door and the, um, the control panels, we have doors I can raise and lower as well. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. So next up we're probably going to jump in Maya really quick and add some you know, simple placeholder assets for things like the tables and the doors and whatnot, uh, just so that we can populate it with some items and get a better sense of the room itself. Thanks again, bye.